Well, hello everybody and welcome into my aquaponic garden. Today is the 12th of February and I'm not sure how well it's showing up on the little thermometer behind me there, but that thing reads about minus 12, which is great because outside it's about minus 20. So let's take a look and see if any of my system is thawed yet and or uh, potentially get some sort of filter running inside my fish tank because, well, it's been a long time since they've had any filtration in there. Starting at the back half of the garden, you can see this is still very much uh, the land of the icebergs here, but still we have green onion tops at the front end. Look at that. How are those things even growing? I mean, they're it's frozen solid, right? But it's still green. Go onions! Grrr! Never give up. Never surrender. So, that's not a great change there, but you know, it's February, it's uh, Manitoba, so, you know, what, what did I really expect? So there's the aquaponic garden bed. Here's a look at my sump tank right now. I did bring the chisel out because I'm going to try and rescue my main pump and bring it into thaw, see if it's still working. But, uh, rather nice long icicle dripping out of my drain pipe there, another almost a mushroomy icicle dripping out of that one. Let's check on the swirl filter, where that comes from. I don't see any cracks or anything in the bin, so that's encouraging. I should still be able to use this when things thaw, which clearly hasn't happened yet. But, because of that 250 watt here, I still have some fish swimming around in there. This is some very nasty water, so I'm going to do a bit of a water change. And uh, like I said, yeah, we're going to get that filter set up and running in there. No great shakes, but, you know, better than nothing. The main thing an aquaponic needs to filter is, well, something for bacteria to cling to and a way for the water to travel past it. Now, you may recall that I put that little mini pump from the mini ponics into the fish tank. We are going to use that and an old mayonnaise can and, and you know, a few scrubby brushes and things. And we're going to create a basic filter. We're going to try anyway. Never really have been one to keep a clean shop. So I've got a three quarter inch drill bit on here. I'm going to try and use to drill a hole through the top of that. We're going to shove this into it to kind of direct the water flow through all of this mess. Everything's frozen so I have no idea if this is even going to work. Very frozen. Try that on reverse, hopefully get a decent hole out of it. Nope, all we got was a mess. Should have thought that one through a little better. It's not pretty, but all I really needed was to be able to direct the water into the mayonnaise thing. Now I'm going to punch a couple holes through this end here, also probably not going to be pretty, but it'll allow somewhere for the water to escape after going through my filter material. So if I go at it incredibly gently, I've been able to punch a couple holes in the sides here. Not very big. But I just want enough for that water to be able to go around and then finally escape after a little bit of filtration, right? Alright, so we'll pull off the top here. Do, do, do. Unplug the pump. Oh, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. Don't think about it, it's warm, it's tropical, I feel great. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so here is that little pump. And uh, as we already learned, that black pipe fits inside my half-inch PVC tubing. And that's really all there is to this. I have no idea if it's going to work or not, but it's, it's the option I've got. So I'm going to sink that slowly back in. And then we'll plug this in. And in theory, that should sink to the bottom as it fills with water. And there she goes. So it's at least getting some water through it. A little oxygenation there while it pushes out whatever air is still in the mayonnaise jar. And that is a very, very basic filter that may or may not help. I'm hoping it does. Okay, so now that I've got that up and running, I'm going to run into the house and grab some One Fix. That's the, basically the bacteria, the bio seed that I use to get everything going and get that filtration up and running properly. So I'm going to let that 
go in there and hopefully those bacteria will find their way into uh, all the microfibers and stuff in the cloth that I shoved in that mayonnaise container. So that's pretty much it though guys. I'm going to wrap up this February aquaponic update from the cold wilds of Manitoba and hope for springs to soon because I really, really want to get growing with aquaponics again. It's driving me nuts. This winter without it has been killing me. On that note, I'd like to say thank you to all of you southern gardeners and those down in the land of Oz that can keep gardening and you know, you've been really helpful in keeping me uh, sane this winter, you know, because I can't garden, but I can live vicariously through your gardens, and that's almost as good. So, you can see my breath here. I'm out of here. I'm going in the house where it's warm, and I will see you guys next time. Probably um, update on the Pepper Shrine next, because I do still have a few of those kicking around. So, um, yeah, I got to get inside. I'm freezing, people. I will see you guys next time. Have a fantastic day, everybody.